It's the same but different. I guess those are the words that I would use to talk about every part of being older. It is the same as every other age I've ever been, but different. Because it's the same issues that it's, you know, how do I support myself? How do I be in a relationship? How do I take care of my health? How do I address family concerns, family issues? How do I be, remain meaningful in the world and relevant? So those were all things that I asked myself in every decade. Once I became a thinking human in my 20s, you're always asking, where are we going to live? How am I going to work? What should we have for dinner tonight? <laughs> These, these things remain the same. Here I am at 70, um, publishing my first creative writing book. Throughout my childhood and my life, when people said, what do you want to be? I always said, a writer. But life happens. You're raising families. You're making a career. You're thinking, Okay, how am I going to get childcare today because I can't miss this meeting and my child is sick and, you know, all of those things. And I wish that I had had a vision at that time of who I wanted to be when I was old, because I could have stopped and said as a comfort, okay, you're in this place now, you will get through it and there will come a day where you can take that deferred dream off the shelf, dust it off and make it happen. And I think because we have such a failure of imagination when we're young about what a vision of older life could be, that it almost, our lives as older people happen by default, right? Instead of being planfully created. Yes, realistically, I'm 70 years old. I do not have the same amount of energy that I had when I was 60. My priorities have changed. Um, I have ringing in my ears. I am stiff when I wake up, but I take action to deal with all those things so that they can be mitigated in a way that I can live the life that I want to live. But if we're not honest about those challenges, right, then we won't inspire people to be creative about how we design for them, right? So it will be, if you look at innovation and in the tech industry for older people, a lot of it is about medication management and managing your health care and all of those sorts of things and not really you know, how do I continue to paint as an artist when I have arthritis in my hand, you know? So I think, I think it has to be much more, how do we support people in living a creative and full life, even though there will realistically be challenges. You can't control getting older but you can't control how you think about it. And so that gets us into the realm of attitudes and age beliefs. People who have negative beliefs about age, it begins to impact your health because there begins to be this underlying stress about it that may be conscious or not. But people with more positive beliefs about aging actually add seven years to their lifespan. Positive age belief protects you against hypertension and heart disease and all sorts of cognitive decline. So it's, it's more than just a mindset, right? It's, it's a critical, critical component and it shows you how much control you can have over healthy aging simply by being in touch with and controlling your attitude and your beliefs. I never had any fears about aging throughout most of my life. 
the reality is I finally realized my dream. You know, I've become a writer. And unlike if this happened to me when I was 32 and I had the luxury of a whole lifetime of being a writer, this feels to me like I need to do it now because at the end of the day, I don't have all the time in the world. You know, my mother was 95, I'm hopeful, but once you really do accept age, it has the wonderful benefit of putting you in the present moment and appreciating what you have in the here and now. I'm still future oriented. I'm kind of, you know, daydreaming. What will I be like when I'm, um, you know, 80? But then there's a realistic part. When the moment hit me was when my mom was in the process of dying. I had the thought, okay, my generation is next at that. And so, you know, again, for me, that evokes sort of an urgency about how I live my life today and to live it to the fullest. And again, you contain all the ages you ever were inside of you. So I really try, and I always have my whole life, to really be in control of how I'm thinking about something. Because when I've got, got, gotten off the rails before in my life, it was when I indulged in this kind of negativity and obsessive thinking, and um, it never gets you to the outcome you want, so.